how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today we're continuing my makeup collection and declutter series. In this video, I attacked my liquid lipsticks. I was honestly dreading it because I knew I had a lot. I had to start with, let's see, 140 <laughs> at the beginning of this, which is crazy, especially because I've turned into such a gloss person. There's no reason why I need over 100 liquid lipsticks. So I'm excited that I attacked them today and decluttered it. Before we hop into it, just a few things. I did film this look, of course. It should already be up on my IGTV by the time this video goes up. My plugs are from the brand Hear No Evil Jewelry on Etsy. You can use my code BUTBEAN to save 10%. I don't make a commission off of that code. It's simply just for you. I got this necklace at a little boutique in Puerto Rico. I don't know the name off the top of my head. And this wig I got just at a local shop. Also, before we get started, please do not get upset if I declutter your favorite liquid lipstick of all time. I'm so glad it works out for you. There's just differences in preference, you know? That's what keeps it fun and interesting, the fact that we all have different opinions. Also, please do not ask me to send you anything. I'm very weird about giving used makeup to people I don't know, especially if it's touched my mouth. The only people that I'm giving dibs to on those are like my close family and friends who like I'm willing to share a drink with kind of thing. Um, so please do not ask me. And also please don't feel pressured to declutter your collection if that's not what you need in your life. It's just what I need in mine. I like to do this once a year just to kind of reflect, break down what I've been using, kind of curate it to what my preferences are and things like that. So yeah, with all that being said, let's just hop in. I did do this video in an overhead kind of format just so we can really get a close look at the lipsticks. I did not swatch every single lipstick, but I did swatch quite a few of them as I was deciding. So that'll all be in that next part. So hope you enjoy. We will chat some more at the very end of the video. All right, let's dig into these liquid lipsticks. I figured I had to do it from an overhead view or else there's no way you'll be able to really differentiate. I'll do swatches here and there, but I'm not gonna swatch every single lipstick because there's 140 here. That's too many to swatch. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of go through. I'm gonna be pretty brutal. If I literally haven't used it since my last declutter a year ago, um, it's gone because that's ridiculous. Unless I can think of a really good reason to keep it, of course. The first ones that are gonna go are from Apocalyptic Beauty. I saved these from the last declutter. We have Viscera, Sigil, Sawin, and Gore. Just various like brown tones, reds, orange. I haven't used these since last declutter, so I'm going to pass these ones along um, because clearly I'm not using them and I won't miss them. Next, I have these Spoiled Lips Cosmetics liquid lipsticks that were sent to me this spring. I personally hate this formula. It's honestly one of the worst that I've ever tried. I'm so sorry, Spoiled Lips, but it's just way too drying for my preference. It's not for me. We have the shades Dare Me, which is this kind of like mauve color. Uh, Send Nudes, which is a very pale, pale pinky nude. Voodoo is this purple kind of color. Creep is like a really deep purple, almost black. It looks like this one's metallic as well. This pink one is called Vixen, and this last one is called Skin. It's just a really light, neutral color. But yeah, I don't like this formula, so I'm gonna pass it along. Next, I have three from Give Me Glow. I have the shades Rock On, 1990, and Video Games. I think all of these are discontinued. If any of them are still available, it might be this Rock On one but I haven't really been using these. However, I love video games and rock on. I think they're fairly unique colors to my collection. I don't feel like I need to keep this 1990 orange color any longer, so I'm gonna pass this one along, but I'm gonna keep these two for now. Various pop beauty liquid lipsticks. I got this purple one right here called OMG Violet like a couple weeks ago. I will keep this one. This isn't my favorite formula in the world. It's still a little drying that I can make it work with a lip mask underneath, um, but this color is pretty unique, so I'm gonna keep it around. However, all the other ones that I have are just like various pinks and like neutral tones. Um, so I'm going to pass these ones along. I haven't really been reaching for them and that with the added it's not my favorite formula. I'm gonna pass these seven along to a friend. These five lip tonics from Kaleidos I do wanna keep. This one's Infusion. It's kind of just like a warm neutral. Collision right here is a really pretty red. This Ambition one right here in the middle is like a metallic darker red. Injection is kind of a peachier neutral color and immersion is a little bit more mauve -y. I really like this formula. It's very comfortable. It's kind of like a blotted lip kind of feel where it's a little less opaque than like a traditional liquid lipstick and it's not super drying in my opinion. So I'm going to keep these. I really like this formula. Black Moon Cosmetics. You guys know I'm keeping these. I'm in love with all of these. This olive green is called Hazel, one of my absolute favorites. Black one, Sleepwalker is my favorite black of all time. This dark purple is called Purgatory. It's also one of my favorite lipsticks. Cider is so good. I love this mustard yellow. It's beautiful. And Harvest is kind of like a 
corally orangey kind of color. It's really weird. I feel like it's equally a spring color and a fall color, but I love all of these. I love this liquid lipstick formula. I always wear a lip mask underneath all of my liquid lipsticks to keep them as hydrating as possible, but I do love this one. And just look at this color story. What a cute little combo. <laughs> I have three ultra blotted lips right here from ColourPop. They're all kind of that pinky tone. I have Bunhead and Usagi from the Sailor Moon collection, and this one is Doozy. I feel like I do like this formula a lot, but I feel like these are just particular colors I never really reach for anymore. I'm not really into these warm pinks. Even when spring and summer rolls around, I just don't find myself wearing these kinds of colors. So I think it's gonna be wise of me to just go ahead and pass these along to a friend. And now I have two ultra satin lips from ColourPop. This one is called Fluke and this one is Dreamy. I really don't reach for this Fluke one as much as I thought I would. It's a really pretty purple, but I think it's just the wrong shade of purple for my skin tone. It makes me feel a little sick looking. Dreamy is such a pretty pinky nude neutral color. It used to be one of my favorites. I've had this for a couple years and even though I want to keep it because in my head I loved this one, I haven't reached for it since the last declutter even once I believe so I think it's time to just pass this one along. I do love this formula though and it's crazy that now I'll have none of the ultra blotted lips or ultra satin lips but maybe I'll just have to go shopping and get some in colors that I'll actually wear. Last ColourPop one is new to me. It's one of the luxe velvets in the shade Ingenue. I love this color. I love this formula. I'm 1000% keeping it and I actually want to pick this up in more shades because it's fantastic. It feels so good. All right, Lime Crime. I have three of the lip blazes here. Jade is kind of a light, light pale neutral. Clover is kind of like a warm... I don't know how to describe this color. It's really pretty and I really like this formula. It's very like creamy. It never dries down completely matte. I just love how pretty these colors are and this formula. And Fern's one of my favorites. It's like a grungy brown kind of color. Keeping all these, I think they're beautiful. I wouldn't mind having more shades, but I also feel like I have plenty with these three. All right, some plushies from Lime Crime. I love this formula. Again, I really like this blotted lip kind of feel where it's not completely opaque and thick and drying. This is much more comfortable. It's still matte, but it's just a comfortable matte. It's not like too thick. I'm gonna get rid of a couple of these. I feel like cola I don't reach for that much because this one is a little more streaky than some of my other ones. It's a pretty color. It's just, I don't know. I feel like I have to work a little too hard with this one and I have other browns in my collection I like more. And same with cherry soda. This one I wouldn't say is streaky per se, but I feel like when I'm actually wanting to wear a red lip, I want it to be like full opacity, like boom, red in your face. So this one I feel like I have to build up to get to that level and that's not the point of these. So I'm gonna pass these two along. The other four of these I'm keeping. This one is Turkish Delight. It's like a really cute pinky neutral. Rosebud is a little bit more of a cool toned pink color. The Milk Tea one's one of my favorites. It's such a good, just standard neutral. And Poof is literally one of my favorites in my whole collection in general. I'm 99% sure I wore this on my wedding day and I'm also positive it's not available anymore, which is horribly sad because it's such a good color. Let me just show you even though I don't know why I'm showing you if it's not available, but I just love this color. It's so warm and rich and it's neutral. So I just, it feels like a good everyday color. I love this so much. All right, Pixie Matte Last Liquid Lipsticks. I love this formula because it's very comfortable. It's very creamy feeling. It doesn't get super matte and dry. It's so, so comfortable. And in theory, I want all of these because it's such a fantastic formula, but I'm not reaching for them hardly ever. So I need to edit this down a little bit. This one's called Berry Beauty. Do I like this one? Ooh, I kind of do, especially with winter coming up. I think that's a really pretty color. I'm gonna keep Berry Beauty. <laughs> this is going so well. This one's Peony Pink. It's not my favorite. I think it's a little too, too pink for me and especially on the cool tone side. Not completely for me, so I'm gonna pass this one. Bare Beauty is a really good light neutral color. I'm absolutely keeping this. This one's been my favorite out of this line for a while. Posh Nude here is also a favorite and it's a little more cool toned. Yeah, I feel like those two are different enough in my eye. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep both of these. Ah, Really Rose was one of my favorites for a while. I don't feel like I need both of those. Oh, but I kind of want both. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one too. <laughs> I just love this formula so much. It has me so sucked in and I actually edited down this portion of my liquid lipsticks pretty hard. Last time I got rid of a lot of pixie ones and this red one right here, this one is called Real Red. It's actually a really pretty red. It's just a nice like true red I feel like. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> Did only got rid of one of those, that's okay. Let's talk about these melt ones really quick because I know for a fact I'm keeping these. Um, this one's Fawn, it's a really pretty cool toned, like light brown color, it's so perfect. Ginger is like a warm, 
orangey brown kind of color and golden is literally like a golden brown. I love all of these. This is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas, so they are of course staying. Let's go over these Milani ones. I feel like they've been staring at me. I had a bunch last year and I got rid of a lot of them and I haven't really reached for most of these. Let's see which ones I want to keep or even if they still feel good. This one's called Pretty. <laughs> I find the Milani liquid lipstick formula to actually be pretty comfortable. I feel like it doesn't get super drying in my opinion. This one's called Loved. Oh, I love Loved. I can totally see why I kept that. I feel like Pretty isn't really a color I reach for anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along. It's a little too pink for me. When I wear pinks, I like them to be kind of in this zone where it's not super bright. I like more of a dusty muted pink. And this one's called Covet. This is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks forever. Just look at that. Such a pretty chocolatey brown. Yeah, I'm keeping that one. <laughs> And they still feel pretty moussey and good. Let's go over these KVD Vegan Beauty ones. These just got sent to me a couple months ago. I used to collect a lot of these back in the day, but then of course stopped because of the owner. But now that that previous owner is no longer a part of the company, um, I got added to the PR list and they've sent me some things. So let's go over these and decide which ones I want to keep. I am going to go ahead and pass this one along called Mother. I actually used to love this color back in the day, but considering I haven't opened this mini one yet, I'm just going to pass it along. And it's also just, I can tell, not my favorite shade of pink anymore. So let me pass that one. Let's go over these five. We have Lolita and OG Favorites. Just such a good mauve neutral. It's so pretty. This one is called Lolita 2. It's a bit warmer of a neutral. Also so pretty. And these are two that have a really good formula. I find with some of the dark ones from this brand, it can get a little crumbly, but some of like the more neutrals and lighter ones, not so much. This one's called Plath, and it's literally like one of my favorites in my collection, even though I haven't worn it that many times. It's just such a stunning color. And I love the way this looks. So I'm 100% keeping all three of these. Bow and Arrow is a really pretty lighter neutral. I love the way this one looks. It's a little bit cool tone, but not like super, super gray looking or anything. Outlaw was like one of my favorite reds for a long time. And I still think it adds such a statement. However, there's one from Menagerie that I'll show you later called Cat Fight that's very similar. Actually, let me swatch it right now just to compare. This is how I'm gonna decide. Okay, yeah, they're not really the same. Cat Fight's a little bit darker but I don't feel like I'm really gonna wear Outlaw very much anymore just because I have some other reds that I feel like I'll reach for more often, so let me pass this one. And finally, last KVD Vegan Beauty one is Echo. It's this really dark blue. I don't feel like I have another blue quite like this. I do have a blue from Menagerie. Let me compare just to see if they're similar at all. I'm pretty sure this Menagerie one is a bit lighter and brighter though. Yeah, definitely two different shades of blue. I'll keep Echo for now. I might have a reason to wear that at some point, but that's those. Those are those. <laughs> Let's go over these NYX liquid suede really quick. This is another line that I used to collect a lot of, and I curated it down a lot last year, and I really don't reach for these that much anymore over the last year, so let me decide which ones I think are worth keeping. This one is called Soft Spoken. Oh, this was a favorite for a long time. Uh, I just love that kind of dusty neutral color. I know I've kept a few that are this color, but I really like this formula. It's again very just like satiny feeling. It's not super drying. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> this one's called Vintage. In theory, I want to keep this, but I don't think I'm really gonna reach for this. I have some matte liquid lipsticks that like don't move around that are a similar color and a formula that I like, so I don't think I need this one anymore. This one's called Amethyst, and I don't feel like I need to keep this, but it's also a really cool purple. I think I'll keep it just in case. <laughs> sometimes I'm so good at being brutal, sometimes I'm just not. This one's called Stone Fox, I believe, yeah. This is a really unique color to my collection. I don't really have a blue-gray like this, so this one's gonna stay. And this last one is called Downtown Beauty. It's a brown, but I don't think I'm really gonna reach for that shade of brown anymore. I have other browns that I like more, so I think I'm just gonna keep the three and get rid of these two. Just really quick, I'm keeping all of my Odin's Eyes liquid lipsticks. Uh, these are the cream lip stains. They have kind of a creamier, almost glossy feel, but not so glossy that I felt I should put them in the lip gloss section, so I put them here. Um, all six of these are beautiful. I have used them so many times. You've probably watched me wear these a thousand times on my channel, so I'm keeping these. And same deal goes for the matte lip stains. I love these as well. These also have kind of that blotted, not totally opaque kind of feel. I think they're beautiful. I love all the colors, so I'm keeping these as well. Odin's Eye is such a cool brand. You can use my code BeautBean if you want to save 10% on their site. It is an affiliate code, so I will make a commission if you use it, which I appreciate, but don't feel pressured. I guess let me talk about Alter Ego as well. I'm also affiliated with this brand. I get a commission if you use my BeautBean discount code to save 10% 
on Alter Ego site as well. And I do really like this liquid lipstick formula. I just need to double check that I want all of these colors. This one's called Intrigue. I feel like this might be really cute, actually. This would be really pretty with a lot of those grungy tones that I wear. So I'll keep that one. Infamous is one of my favorites like, in my whole collection. I think it's so pretty and deep. This reminds me of that vintage one from... NYX, the liquid suede that I got rid of. It's a little bit different, but it's a similar vibe, so I like this one more, and it's so pretty on the lips. Crush is a cute pink, but is it a pink that I want to keep around? Yeah, I mean, this one's bright, but I feel like it still has that dustiness underneath it that makes me like this one. I'll keep this one as well. I think I'm going to keep all of these. Vanity, do I want this red? Yeah, I think I'll keep that red as well. I just really like this formula. It's super cheap. It's only like $6, but I think it works really nicely. Like, even compared to some of my high-end ones. This one's Euphoria, a really pretty neutral. Such a good color. I feel like I'm gonna get roasted so bad for keeping so many of the same tone, but sometimes you want the same color in a different formula. You feel me? And this one is Jealousy. This one's more of a mauve right there. Yeah, I really like all of these. I'm gonna keep them all. <laughs> you can't stop me. All right, Sugar Pill. I think I'm keeping all of these as well, but I'm gonna swatch them just to be sure. When I have, like, a range so large and I haven't used all of them in a while, this is when I feel the need to swatch. I don't feel the need to swatch like those Odin's Eye ones because I knew I was going to keep them all. This one's called Locket. It's like a very pretty mauvey plum with sparkle in it. It's so cute. I really like Sugar Pills liquid lipstick formula. Nurse is such a pretty red. This one's really nice. It's like a very pretty just true red. And again, I know I've kept a couple reds, but sometimes you want some in a different formula. This one's called Sub-Zero. It's really cool. It's like a really deep blue with sparkle in it. It's really unique. And then I don't wear this one often, but when I do, it definitely makes a statement. This one is called Keepsake. It's a really pretty mauve neutral, very lovely. This next one is Pumpkin Spice 2. It's definitely not one I reach for a lot, but I reached for it a lot in October for my Halloween looks. It's a really pretty orange. And I'm not a huge orange person, but I feel like this one's toned down enough to where I feel comfortable. However, this one, Teacher's Pet, is a very bright orange, but there's something about it that makes it kind of exciting. And again, I wore this a lot for Halloween looks, so considering I got a lot of use out of them lately, I'm going to keep both of those around. This next one is Cherish. It's a really pretty pinky neutral. I've worn that one a lot. It's so good. This one's Dress Code. It's so cool. I don't really wear this one, but I want to. <laughs> it's like a weird, like, gray khaki with sparkle kind of in it. It's really hard to explain. Very unique. I want to keep this one because I want to use it. Wow, I'm doing great at decluttering these sugar pill ones. This one's called Dropout. You know, I don't feel like I'm ever going to wear this green, but again, I want to. Uh, I'll keep it for now. <laughs> and finally, Trinkets, one of my OG favorites. Oh, it's pretty much gone, isn't it? I need to put this in my empties pile. I'll consider this decluttered, but I finished it. I was trying to scrape it, but... There's that. Okay, let's go through these Dose of Colors ones. I've been dreading it because there's a lot here. <laughs> and I love this formula. Literally, I think Dose of Colors is my number one favorite liquid lipstick formula. I've loved it for years and years now. I actually edited this down a lot last year. I think I had probably close to double the amount, if I remember correctly. And I knocked it down a good amount. So let's see what I feel like keeping. <laughs> this one you're gonna think I'm gonna get rid of, but I actually kept this around just in case I want a hot pink, because I decluttered so many hot pinks last year. I don't know if you remember. I must have gone through a phase where I bought a ton of like hot pink Barbie pink lipsticks. Um, this one I will still keep just in case. I wanna wear this, just in case. Ah, Monday is one of my absolute favorites. This one is so good. I might have even ranked this as number one in my top 10 liquid lipsticks. It's so pretty. I always feel so good wearing that one. Sand is a really pretty light neutral. I don't feel like I have anything exactly this shade. It's kind of like just past my skin tone and I really like it. Ah, Quark, also one of my favorites. I have so many favorites through this line. It's such a pretty grungy brown. I think I wore this twice in the last week. It's so good. Truffle is also a favorite, an OG. I think I've gone through two of these. <sighs> such a good neutral. Extra saucy, I might get rid of. Just because I haven't really been reaching for this one. Oh, but it's also so pretty and I want to reach for it. I'm going to keep it. I'm thinking that because I've gotten rid of so many liquid lipsticks already, maybe I'll actually reach for more of these exciting ones. Los Angeles. I love this one. I haven't worn this one in a while, but it's so pretty. It's kind of that like corally, reddish, rusty 
I love it. I don't know how else to describe it. Warm and fuzzy. This one's a really cute pinky neutral. Really like that one. So cute. I went from like not wanting to swatch anything to swatching literally everything. So there's that. This one is brick. I actually wore this recently. It's like a rusty, grungy brown red color. It's literally like a brick. Ah, strawberry pop is so cute. I really like this one in the spring and summer. It's literally like the color of like a cartoon strawberry. It's so cute. I'll keep that one. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. That's okay. These ones all spark joy. Stone is also forever a favorite. A really pretty mauve neutral. So lovely. I've gone through like two of these as well. Bury Me is a color you don't see me wear often, but once holiday time rolls around in like winter, I love a berry lip. And this is like my favorite one I've ever found in my life. So I'll keep that one. And finally, Chocolate Wasted. Best brown ever. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. I did horrible decluttering those, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's do these menagerie ones. And then I have a bunch of miscellaneous ones to go through and then we'll be done. I think I'm powering through this. Maybe not super fast, but effectively, effective enough. I think I'm doing okay. Let's go over these fat ones first. These were in the original packaging and since then she's updated the packaging and the wand. Um, but let's go over these old ones, see what I wanna keep. Gator is a really cool green. Again, I don't wear this often, but when I do, I feel really cool. So I'll keep that one. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these. It's a very comfortable velvet matte formula where it does dry down matte, but it's a little more comfortable. This one's called Alpha. Kind of a mauve plummy kind of color. It's really cool. Ah, pink pachyderm. This was a favorite of mine for a while. I love this kind of dusty pinkish color. Super cute. Cricket is really nice. I used this for a long time when my Sleepwalker one was missing, um, but this is also a really good black. Not my favorite in comparison to Sleepwalker, but it's still nice. And this one's Sedona, another just kind of pinky neutral kind of color. I feel like I've kept a hundred that are this shade, but that's okay. All right, let's go over these. Newer updated packaged ones, Starfish. I feel like I need to compare Starfish to that Pop Beauty one that I kept. It might be similar enough to where I don't need the Pop Beauty one because I really like Starfish, it's so fun. All right, let's go with OMG Violet. I have a feeling they'll be a little bit different. You know, they are different, but I don't feel like they're so different and I do prefer the Menagerie formula by far. So I'm gonna pass this one. Thank you Menagerie for helping me make that decision. <laughs> This one's Luna. It's a really pretty kind of purpley mauve color. Again, a little more purple than this one earlier alpha. This one right here is called Withered Rose. It's the same kind of feel with that mauve kind of zone, but this one's a bit lighter. I'm keeping all of these unless stated otherwise. This teal one, Leviathan. I always say this one wrong. Please don't correct me. I'll figure it out later. Um, but it's a really cool like turquoise lip. It's so fun. Mako is such a cool blue. I swatched it earlier to decide between this one and Echo, and I ended up, of course, keeping both because they're different. Caramoya, Cherimoya, I'm not sure how to say this one either. This is kind of a rosy, cool tone, neutral color. I feel like this one's a little cool toned as far as like light neutrals go, but I don't have anything else quite like this that I kept, I believe, so I wanna keep this one just to have some variety. Cat Fight I swatched earlier, but there it is again, just a really beautiful red. Anthurium, which I also might be pronouncing wrong, and I'm so sorry. It's such a pretty, like, plummy wine color. I really like that. I forgot that I had that. And I was actually looking for like a true wine lipstick a couple weeks ago and I completely forgot about this one. So happy to know that that's there. Animal Cookie is such a cute light neutral. I love this one. It's so pretty. Aurelia is a nice, again, just kind of cool tone mauve color. I kept it over here so we can kind of compare it to the other ones. That one's really cute. <laughs> Hook, Line, and Sinker is a really fun like poppy pinkish purpley kind of color. I feel like this one's pretty unique and there's just something about it that I like. Again, it's not totally what I reach for all the time, but for once in a while, that's a fun pop. Hungry Eyes is a really pretty bright pink. This is very much on like that strawberry corally kind of zone. Again, a little bright for my preference as far as like pinks go, but I want this for once in a while. And finally, Hyacinth. I love this color. It's so fun. Every time I wear this, I get so many compliments. So yeah, I didn't do very good decluttering those, but that's okay. What can I say? Menagerie is just really good at having a good formula and really awesome colors. So there's that. Let me clean off this hand and then we'll go over the remaining miscellaneous ones. All right, let's go over these last few miscellaneous ones. These are just ones that I don't have more than like one or two of to really go that much more in depth about it. Um, I'm probably gonna get rid of most, if not all of these, 
these because I just simply haven't reached for them in the last year. This is from the brand Jogia Cosmetics. I don't even know where I got this. Um, 1988 is the shade name. It's a pretty color, but I feel like I kept like one from Alter Ego that was really similar to this and maybe even a Menagerie one. So this one doesn't need to stay. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Ironic. This was a subscriber gift a while back and it's a really pretty color but it is a bit drying since I have a couple other greens that I'm keeping. I'm gonna pass this one along since it's my least favorite formula out of the three. This is from Juvia's Place. It's called Afrique. It's a really pretty red. Oh, I do like that red. But at the same time, I feel like I've kept so many like reds kind of similar to this tone that I don't need that one. This one's from Lunatic Labs Cosmetics. It's called Lori. I kept this one because I really liked the color and I didn't hate the formula. It was a little drying, but not horrible with a lip mask underneath. But at this point, I feel like I've kept so many of this shade of like dusty pinky neutral that I don't need to keep this one. This one's from Makeup Revolution called Screen. This was a gift last Halloween season. I've worn this a couple times, but I feel like it's just a little too thick for my liking. Um, and I do have a couple other lipsticks that I kept that are a similar color that isn't quite as like thick as this. Is this even a lipstick? Yeah, it's a vinyl liquid lipstick. That's why it's shiny. Okay, I was like, is this a gloss? It's very thick. I forgot what it was. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pass this one along because it's just not perfectly my favorite formula. I have this random Morphe one in the shade Vanity. It's like a mauve neutral kind of color. It's cute, but again, I've kept so many. This is similar to Stone from Dose of Colors. Not my favorite formula, so I'm gonna pass that one. This Ola Neon uh, brand liquid lipstick, this one is called Boom. It's a cute color, but I've kept a few others that are this kind of like reddish, brownish, orangey grunginess. So I'm gonna pass this one along because I have others that are better. This is from the brand Clove and Hollow. It's another kind of berry liquid lipstick. I really liked the color. I wasn't a huge fan of this formula. It just wasn't my favorite thing. It was a little too drying for me. So I'm gonna pass that one. This one from Colored Rain is called Soul. I feel like I really liked this one, but I don't remember. Oh, I feel like maybe it was a little too thick for my liking. I don't know. I feel like I've kept some other like gray tone neutrals like this. So let's pass that one. And finally two from Ofra Cosmetics, old packaging and new packaging. Um, this one's called Miami Fever. I think this was a Kathleen Lights collaboration. Ooh, that's very dried out. That's very old. That's going in the garbage. Um, it's not my favorite color anyways. I don't really play with oranges too much on my lips, especially not that shade of orange. And this one's Havana Nights. Wasn't this also a Kathleen Lights one? I don't even think I bought these. I think they came in like old boxy charms. Havana Nights is pretty, but considering I haven't worn this specific one, mix up maybe more than once or twice in my life, I'm going to pass that one along because I have other ones that are similar. So all of these are getting decluttered. Go me. All right, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. It was very, very therapeutic for me to <laughs> declutter those liquid lipsticks. It felt so good to re-put them back in my drawers and have it a lot more organized and curated. It was nice. I'm very proud that I decluttered 44 out of 140. 96 is still a lot, a very large abundance. No human being on earth needs 96 liquid lipsticks, but I got it down as best as I could today. Maybe throughout the years, I notice I'm not using things. Maybe I will revisit that or we'll just try to go brutal next year, but I think I did okay. I'm happy with that result. I did also today go ahead and pre-film the decluttering portion of my glosses and regular lipsticks, and I went a lot harder on those, so I feel pretty good about my lip product collection. <laughs> More makeup collection videos are coming for you very soon. I've uploaded quite a few at this point, I believe. At this moment, I haven't uploaded any because I'm in pre-film mode, but there should already be a bunch up on my channel if you want to go catch any that you might have missed. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave me a lipstick emoji, and if you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Please make sure you're staying informed with Black Lives Matter. There's a link in my description box that will take you to resources and ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.